Hey everybody, welcome back to Prescription Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a quick hit review of Hardin's Creek Golden Origins, 11-year-old corn whiskey from Jim Beam. All right, so this Golden Origins, uh, Hardin's Creek release, came out this summer, and I believe it was originally distillery only, but um, I found it in a Kroger store, ultimately, so, you know, uh, so it must be, have some distribution, but I'm going to guess it's pretty much just around the Kentucky area. Um, as all the other Hardin Creeks, it has this cool leather strap on it, which uh, kind of, uh, kind of makes it kind of cool. You got to kind of undo that. It's got a nice metal stopper on here, which is, which is very nice, so. Uh, but I'm going to pour this and um, give you a quick review. All right. All right, get this all buttoned back up. There we go. You know, this uh, you know, has this little information book on it stuff, but it's definitely was a little hard to find information on this. Uh, it is listed, as I said, as 11-year-old corn whiskey. It um, has a, so it's got at least an 80% corn mash bill, and it does say right on the bottle, aged in used bourbon barrels. So, so I believe it was, most of its life, it was aged in, in used bourbon barrels, and then ultimately it was finished in some used toasted bourbon barrels. Yeah, so possibly Basil Hayden toasted uh, barrels. Um, you know, Jim Beam doesn't have a whole lot of uh, choices there. But, um, you know, so best case scenario, uh, this was aged 10 years in used, used bourbon barrels and one year in used toasted barrels. The actual age split is unknown. The actual mash bill is unknown, but it is going to be at least 80% corn. And like I say, the, this little booklet has some backstory and all that, but it, it has a lot of little phrases on the label and stuff also. Uh, born from the creek is all over it on the bottle and on the booklet. booklet. So um, that's Hardin's Creek, uh, and that runs through Claremont, Kentucky, where Jim Beam was founded. And I think these these Hardin Creek releases have really been celebrating Jim Beam's 225 year history. So you know, if you got the history, why not uh, why not push it out there? All right, on the nose. There's definitely some uh, some corn sweetness there, some vanilla, a tiny bit of a uh, ethanol. Uh, the proof on this is 106 proof. I believe these may not have been put in the barrel at 125 proof, which is Jim Beam's uh, normal in barrel entry proof. Um, I think I read somewhere that some of these were put in there at 115 proof. So to proof it down to 106 proof is not having to uh, dilute it that much. I got a little bit of a uh, little bit of orchard fruit on that. A little bit, a little bit of uh, apple scent. Who oh, knows? So, all right, let's go ahead and give it a quick taste. And I'll let you know what kind of flavors I'm uh, finding. All right, so first thing that just hit me on that very first sip was a lot of sweetness. There's definitely some sweetness there. Uh, it's I'll just call it a corn sweetness. It's not. Uh, it's not anything like brown sugar or maple or anything like that. It's just a, it's just a, a sweet right up front. You know, real good mouthfeel on that too. It's got a good medium, uh, thick mouthfeel, and um, you know, a lot of warmth on the on that too. So it, it uh, definitely was a little bit of a hug going down. 106 proof, but. Um, you know, there's some there's some nice cinnamon spice there, but there is some um, there's some tannins there, some oak tannins that um, that are a little off putting. So um, I know a lot of times corn whiskey is aged in uncharred uh, barrels. That's almost uh, the, the kind of taste I get out of this is like just those tannins from raw wood, and not. Uh, not the not the greatest uh, finish on that uh, from from that uh, from that tannic uh, wood 
notes. But that initial sip, you know, the, the nose is nice. And that initial sip with that corn sweetness, you know, tiny bit of, of cinnamon. Good mouthfeel, nice warmth going down is, is nice. Um, and then all that goes away quickly and, and this uh, tannic oak is what's left. So uh, retail price on this is uh, around $120. Uh, like I say, it's 11 years old, so that's right in the in the right ballpark for that. But definitely doesn't have all the nuances of, of a full blown bourbon would have, or I'd say even a rye these days. So um, you know, it doesn't claim to be. It's a it's a corn whiskey. Very beginning of that sip is is enjoyable, and then the uh, the finish is not so. Um, I don't know if I would go out hunting this. You know, there's been several, at least uh, five major of the Hardens Creek releases. I, th I don't think this is one of the main ones. This is kind of like a secondary release that they did. I don't, and I don't know if some of them might be considered experimental or not. So, you know, it is cool to see a corn whiskey from Jim Beam. 11 years old at that. Uh, you know, I would rank it just, just above middle of the road, though. So, um, and it's really that finish that's dragging it down. The finish is just killing it for me, so if I could just hang on to that initial sip longer or till the end, um, I would definitely rank this higher. All right, everybody, I, liked, uh, I hope you liked what you saw here. Hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you've seen this around or if you've tried any of their Hardin's Creeks. What, uh, what's your favorites? Um, I know they've been, hit, they've been hit or miss, so this one's probably leaning towards the miss on this one, so. Remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers.